Picking right back up again at Numbers chapter 2, verse 17. Then the tabernacle of the congregation shall set forward with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camp. As they encamp, so shall they set forward every man in his place by their standards. And notes. In other words, as the camp moved, Judah led the way with praise. The rear was brought up by Dan, whose name means judgment, meaning that anyone who attacked Israel would be judged by God. At the center were the Levites, whose name means joined or communion. Verse 18. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim according to their armies, and the captain of those of the sons of Ephraim shall be Elishama, the son of Amahad. And his host and those who were numbered of them were forty thousand and five hundred. And by him shall the tribe of Manasseh, and the captain of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel, the son of Pedahazur. Turning the page, verse 21. And his host and those who were numbered of them were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. Then the tribe of Benjamin and the captain of the sons of Benjamin shall be Abidan, the son of Gideoni. And his host and those who were numbered of them were thirty and five thousand and four hundred. All who were numbered of the camp of Ephraim were an hundred thousand and eight thousand and an hundred throughout their armies, and they shall go forward in the third rank. <coughs> Notes. Uh, when encamped on the march, Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh were nearest to the mercy seat. Hence they're being named in Psalms chapter 80, verse 1 and 2. There were 108,100 in the three tribes of Benjamin, Manasseh, or Ephraim. Or Ephraim, Manasseh, and Benjamin, I should say. Verse 25. The standard of the camp of Dan shall be on the north side by their armies, and the captain of the children of Dan shall be Ahizer, the son of Amashadai. And his host and those who were numbered of them were threescore and two thousand and seven hundred. And those who encamp by him shall be the tribe of Asher, and the captain of the children of Asher shall be Pagiel, the son of Akran. And the host and those who were numbered of them were forty and one thousand and five hundred. Then the tribe of Naphtali and the captain of the children of Naphtali shall be Ahira the son of Enam. And his host and those who were numbered of them were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. All they who were numbered in the camp of Dan were an hundred thousand and fifty and seven thousand and six hundred. They shall go hindermost with their standards. Notes. The three tribes of Dan, Asher, and Naphtali were encamped on the north side with their total population of 157,600. Verse, thir uh, verse 32. These are those which were numbered of the children of Israel by the house of their fathers. All, who, all those who were numbered of the camps throughout their hosts were 600,000 and 3,550. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel as the Lord commanded Moses. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they pitched by their standards, and so they set forward every one after their families according to the house of their fathers. Notes. As we have surveyed this chapter, we have learned about God's order. We have learned, as stated, that praise must lead the way and if praise rightly leads the way, drawing sustenance from the communion that is in the center, which comes from the tabernacle, which is Christ, of course, and nourishes all, then divine judgment will protect the rear guard against all the powers of darkness that would seek to hinder the church of the living God. Chapter 3, we're going to talk about the sons of Aaron. These also are the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that the Lord spoke with Moses in Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests which were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. Verse 4, And Nadab and Abihu, or Abihu, 
died before the Lord when they offered strange fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. And Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the sight of Aaron their father. Notes. Now we must remember that God cannot and will not abide sin in any form. <laughs> and when it's sin against the cross, as was the sin of Nadab and Abihu, it is most grievous indeed. Now the tragedy is, this sin, the sin of strange fire, is being committed today as never before, and the results are the same. Death. Verse 5. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister unto him. Notes. As we will find out in this chapter, grace entrusted the Levites with the tabernacle and its vessels when on the march, and love apportioned to each the load suited to his strength. Verse 7. And they shall keep his charge, and the charge of the whole congregation, before the tabernacle of the congregation to do the service of the tabernacle. Notes. Uh, the Holy Spirit had originally said of the tribe of Levi uh, through the patriarch Jacob, O my soul, come not thou into their secret, which spoke of the evil of their hearts and all its unrighteousness. Yet the Lord could bring Levi into his secret and unite him to his assembly. He could take him out of his habitation, wherein were instruments of cruelty, and bring him into a tabernacle to be occupied with the holy instruments and vessels that were there. Only the grace of God could do such a thing. Grace and mercy shall follow these people wherever they go. Grace, uh, grace basically gives you what you don't deserve, while mercy spares you from what you really do deserve. That's a great way of putting it. You can quote me if you like. Verse 8. And they shall keep all the instruments of the tabernacle of the congregation and the charge of the children of Israel to do the service of the tabernacle. Notes. This same charge is given to all believers presently. Keep that in mind. Verse 9. And you shall give the Levites unto Aaron and to his sons, they are wholly given unto him out of the children of Israel. And you shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall wait on their priest's office. And the strangers who are Gentiles who come near shall be put to death. Notes. Uh, this, is, this is happening because they were not under the Abrahamic covenant. Uh, God just, he, he would not allow it. Just simply put. Verse 11. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, and I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of all the firstborn that opens the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine. Notes. It seems that the Lord had originally planned to use the firstborn of every family as the priestly tribe. But due to a series of events, the grace of God would give the tribe of Levi that high and holy honor. Concerning this, Macintosh says, In faith arithmetic, God is the only significant figure, and having him you may add as many uh, ciphers as you please. If all your faith is in the living God, it ceases to be a question of your need and resolves itself into a question of his sufficiency. Verse 13, Because all the firstborn are mine, for on that day, for on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast, mine shall they be, I am the Lord. Verse 14, And the Lord spoke unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the children of Levi after the house of their fathers by their families. Every male from a month old and upward shall you number them. Notes, Whereas the numbering of all other tribes began at twenty, it began at one month old regarding the boy babies of the Levites. Verse 16, And Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord as he was commanded. And we will have to pick up in Leviticus chapter 3, verse 17. Thank you very much. <laughs>